So guess what? Mags is at it again. You know, that one trick that Mags has that literally this, you know, a one trick trans pony thing. That's all Mags does. Recently, I did a video with Mag with Magdalene Visaggio was talking about how it wanted to, to trans Connor Kent because for some reason that seems like a good idea of something that that Mags wanted to do. Well, Mags is out there again bragging that they're going to be transing another beloved character because again, like I said, that's the only trick that this person has. That's it. That's all that they do. They just include themselves into everything and then act like this is somehow fantastic writing. Exactly what Glenn was talking about. How these people just want to write self-inserts of themselves when, when you fucking about this. Nobody cares about your life. That's it. Let's get into this madness. Marvel and DC writer Magdalene Visaggio brags. I trans the beloved character for upcoming comic book series based on licensed IP. Yes, so Max is transing another character. We don't know who, but again, that's really the only trick that this person knows how to do. That's it. Because of course, Max is trans. In further proving, should not be himself or whatever. Like this is some of the other does that. A one-trick storytelling pony, industry writer Magdalene Visaggio has revealed that she has yet again trans the beloved character for an upcoming as of yet unannounced comic book series based on a licensed IP. Yeah. This is the only trick that they know. The same thing that like, you like, like the woman who um, wrote um, that Harley Quinn eat kill battle thought I always forget her name. Every book that it's pulled to write always have to self insert themselves with it. Somebody has to be a black, overweight, disabled lesbian. That's it. That that's what they do. They, they are incapable of writing anything other than themselves into book. But, they, but yet Marvel and DC keep hiring these nutcases and watching their watching their sales go down the toilet and the industry burn. The Marvel's Dazzler X Song Volume 1 and DC's Eternity Girl Volume 1 writer, a transgender individual herself, because oh God forbid that not be the case, provided this tease into her future writing plans on December 8th via her personal Twitter account. Let's get to it. This is what Mags had to say. I'm writing one of my all-time favorite IPs for a book dropping next year. And just, I wish so hard I could tell you, it's an incredibly unexpected license and they're letting me break and rebuild it. Yes, I transed a beloved character. No backseas. It's because that's what you need to be proud of. Not, not to say, hey, you know, I'm writing this fantastic story. You're going to love it. The work is going to be so good. It stays true to the character. It really builds on the mythos. It's actually going to be absolutely amazing. No, no. No, no, you can only tell the people, yes, I trans the beloved character, no backseas, because that's what I want to do. Ay, ay, ay. Following this announcement, Versace was met with not just praise from the like-minded identity politicians. Yeah, because they will love anything that anything that really sounds stupid. Yeah, people love that. But also push back from audiences unimpressed with even with yet another transing of an established character. Because what if that's the only thing you can do? You think people are going to be happy about it? And arguably the most notable of this criticism as it both came from a, tran from a transgender individual drew a reply from, from Versace. Yeah, because people, I said it before, not everybody is aligned to this nonsense. Not everybody, and sometimes they make it very well known that they're not. Some um, Amber Shade says, oh, 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 here's a thought. Stop changing established characters into something they're not and just create new characters who are trans. As a trans woman, I'm sick of this happening in media. Not wrong. If you want to write something, create a new character, it will not follow. But, but you see, when they do that, 
it will expose that, well, it's already been exposed, but you know, it will expose it even more. These people have no talent. They can't write anything. All they do is just put themselves into things like that and then tell everybody, well, if you don't, if you don't love this, you're this, so you must love it. That is it. So that's what Amber Shea had to say. Well, how did man's how did man respond? No. That's it, just no. I am not going to create anything new. I'm just going to take what's already there and change it into whatever I want it to be. Faced with further criticism, the writer then followed up her initial declaration by laughing. Yeah, this is what Mags had to say. Ha ha ha, OMG, you all are being so dramatic. When you see it, you'll realize how zero a big deal this is. you just go, oh, that's all. No one is being dramatic. You put it out there for the sole purpose of getting a reaction. That's what you did. That's all you ever do. Like I said, you put up a thought. As long as I tweet saying that you know you're writing it's fantastic books, they intrude into the character, building on the mythos. But no, you don't know how to do that. All you know how to do is trans characters and run around telling everybody, look, I just did this and oh, you're being so dramatic. That's the that's the one that's the one argument. The one argument. The minute you start to actually tear apart what they're doing, they automatically turn around to their own now. To um, they'll tell you, oh, you're being so dramatic. But trust me, if a couple, if a couple of uh, other um, bots and in, and, and um and identity politic leaning individuals had jumped in with the to pile on this person, she'd be perfectly mad, 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 perfectly happy to keep doing that. Perfectly happy. But no, no, oh, you're all being so dramatic. You put it out there to to then elicit. A response. Don't pretend that's nothing what you do. So we don't know what this who this um, who this character Max is going to be um transing is, but then Max goes on to say, You don't even know what the IP is. It's the gayest shit in the world. It's famously gay. What what are you even telling people? This is what I'm trying to understand. What are you even telling people? Even if the character that you're Going to be is gay. That, that, does, that, that does not mean that any character is trans, but you're changing this because that's what you are. And you're out there like, you don't even know what the IP is. Of course, nobody knows what the IP is. You haven't told anybody what the IP is. When you're saying, no, it's the gayest shit in the world, it's famously gay. This is the only thing you could bring to the table. That's it. Hi, yeah, boy. This is far from the first time Versaggio has sought to project their own gender identity upon a licensed character. Yeah, because that's all that mags can do. This is this is this is their entire thing. They're nothing more than one trick ponies who are self-inserting their own crap into everything. Earlier this year, Versaggio's Chilling Adventures presents Strange Science One Shot reintroduced Archie Comics readers to Danny, a red-headed science geek. Who played a big part, a big part in the five-issue 1989-1990 series Dilton Strange Science. I actually did a video on this. Uh, I did a video on it. Originally a biological woman, this new incarnation of Dilton's adventurous love interest was instead depicted as being a male-to-female transgender woman. Yeah, because that's all you can do. That's it. This is it here. This is it here. Some kind of argument they have, and then you know, in the trans, the trans, you know what to say? You're mad because I'm a girl now. Are you that small minded? Like, no, 21, you, you could have just made the character was, well, was biologically female, you could have done a story with that, but no, they cannot help themselves introducing their own crap into everything. That's all that they do. This is why nobody's reading these things anymore. And though she was unsuccessful in this in the attempt, yeah, this one is the one that more people know about it. Versace also angled at writing a story for DC wherein she would have made Connor Kent a trans girl who subsequently took on the name Connie. She would have known there since it's never going to happen. Yes, I was going to make Connor Kent a trans girl. I give you Skyrocket, my master plan for a story that will never happen. You have a character like Connor King that people actually like. You understand me? That like. 
a, a complex character who is a clone of Superman and Lex Luthor. Character was very popular. People enjoyed the character. What they've done to the character, no, no. But people enjoyed the character. But no, your one thought that goes through your mind every day is how can I take this character and trans them up because that's all I know how to do. Uh, this this was this was this was a, 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 a this was a, a, a patient what she had. And Connie always reverts to the mean. Connie found out she's a Luther, and the most that came of it was she shaved her head. She forged her own life on Jim World, only to end up right back on the farm. Whatever changes she tries to make in her life never stick. In other words, Connie has never faced herself squaring the mirror and admitting the one thing that really bothering her here. So this is this is um skyrocket, no longer Connor Kent, skyrocket, a trans version of Connor Kent. This is what Mags wanted to do. This was it. Notably, remnants of Misaju's original Connie Kent vision can still be seen in a published version of her story. Super is as Super does, as featured in the aforementioned Action Comics issue. Therein, Connor can be seen not only sporting brightly dyed hair and mulling over his real identity, both of which were core components of Visaju's pitch, but story even ends with his girlfriend Miss Martian referring to him as Connie. I've never once heard Miss Martian refer to Connor Kent as Connie, but... Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah, bright colored hair. You understand me? And then she, and then she, she there. Um, Connie, talk to me. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This is the only trick that Max Massageo has. This is it. Go out there, find some character, trans the character, and then act like you've done something fantastic. You haven't, Max. You just, you just a one trick trans pony, and people are just sick and tired of your nonsense. You know your thoughts on this in the comments. You have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.